Hello, my name is Zhi Hong Yu, or also known as Hong. I'm the ACDC and Lighting Product Line Manager at Monolithic Power Systems. I'm delighted to introduce our industry first digital programmable PFC slash analog ARC combo controller, HR1200. In this video, I will guide you through the key features and benefits of HR1200. And on the second video, I will provide a basic demonstration and setup of HR1200 Evaluation Kit, or EV Kit in short. Let's first look at the key benefits of HR1200. First key benefit is in efficiency, especially at no load and light load. HR1200 has less than 140 mW no load loss, can achieve higher than 96% efficiency from 10% to full load for the PFC stage, and 93% peak efficiency for the entire PFC ARC stage on a 240 watt EBB. Second benefit is in power factor. HR1200 can achieve higher than 97% PF from 20% to 100% load. Certain energy standards like titanium spec for PC power requires 0.95 PF at 20% load. The third key benefit is in ease of use. It has a graphic user interface or GUI. The GUI incorporates a user-friendly and intuitive menu to allow configuring circuit diagram, designing the PFC inductor, providing power loss analysis, changing input switching frequency with jittering options, feedback loop, loop design, and protection configurations, which all facilitate the engineer's design flow. For conventional CCM control, the frequency is fixed at all times before entering burst mode. Here, the high switching loss contributes to lower efficiency at light load. For HR1200, it incorporates an adaptive digital on-time control. Here, at heavy or full load, the switching frequency is still kept constant. However, as load becomes less, the frequency drops to enter DCM mode and saves on switching loss. This control method is not available on analog controllers. Here you can see the light load efficiency improvement of more than 5% at 10 to 20% load against a normal analog CCM PFC controller, as in competitor. This is the power factor performance for HR1200. For normal analog PFC controller, as in competitor, the PF always drops at light load and becomes worse at high light, as there is constant current flowing across the input capacitor and the X cap that affects the overall power factor. The high PF at light load feature, as shown here, is only realizable by using patented digital conversation method, as in HR1200. This is the menu from the GUI software that can be found in HR1200 EV kit. Here the user can program, store, and record any PFC configuration settings. HR1200 saves the development efforts in power supply design. For example, the GUI offers a feedback loop gain and phase margin monitoring screen. If you choose this manual mode, the KP and KI can be freely adjusted and the result is simulated and shown. This way, it saves you a lot of trial and error in the prototyping. While saving development efforts, HR1200 also enables different final products with the same hardware build material. For example, for overcurrent protection or OCP, different end projects may demand different actions as the protection mechanism, such as hiccup or latch mode. With HR1200, to change the OCP setting, you just need to program the product in different configuration without hardware changes, so there's potential to use same design to serve multiple applications. In addition, there are many other features available to be configured per your interests, and the details are covered in the GUI user guide that comes with the evaluation kit. After you decide on final configuration settings, you may do in-house programming on standard HR1200. In addition, the configuration can also be sent to MPS to provide pre-programmed IC for production. And MPS will issue a dedicated PAN number for your project. The PAN number nomenclature is shown here. The first two X, X codes indicate certain customer name 
and the next two XX codes indicate this customer certain project. This concludes the HR1200 feature introduction. Please see our next video to set up and program the HR1200 to your application's requirements.